Hi, and welcome to another session on change management. Uh, dear students, in this session, we're going to talk about uh, one of a change model and also the concept of the change. Uh, what is, you know, a change management concept? We will discuss briefly about that. And also we will explain the Kurt Leon's change theory, which includes the three stages, the unfreeze, change and freeze. Let's first talk briefly about the change management concept. The change management concept uh, is something familiar to the organizations. Uh, since, you know, the, the change management uh, started, you know, uh, and also developed from the foundation stage, then it came to the radar stage and entered, you know, the business uh, circles. So now the businesses, you know, have realized and they know that what change is all about. Uh, and, and, you know, and now change became like a principle or like a discipline or like a function for the management. Uh, the concept of change is not something new or something unfamiliar to the organizations. All businesses, they are familiar to the concept of the change. They know what change means. And change can be occurred, you know, from the internal factors and also from the external factors. But the question is that how well and how effectively the organizations are responding to a change, either from the internal environment or from the external environment. And we can say that the response or the management of change depends on the nature of the organization, on the management style of the organization, uh, on, on the abilities and capabilities of the organization, and also the people who are involved in the organization, that how well they know about the change and how well they understand about the change process. Uh, so that's that's the concept of the change. In change is a common element. We know that change is something. It it happens, you know, even you know in social aspects of the human life and also in business aspects. And also change can occur uh, in any organization of any type, uh, any size or any level. Uh, so it is something like we can say that change is inevitable. You know, it happens. Uh, you know, to to the business organizations. And they have to adopt the change uh, in order to survive. Uh, because, of course, you know, uh, without changes, those organizations uh, which are not changing, uh, so they are dying. Uh, lots of businesses around the world, uh, they are closing down, you know, in years because of not adopting the change or not realizing the change or they do not know how to answer to a changing environment. Let's, let's discuss, you know, the Leon's uh, uh, change model. Uh, which was developed by him, you know, for the businesses. So let's first talk about uh, Leon's. Uh, he was, you know, one of a social, uh, you know, uh, psychologist, and he was, you know, the, the you know, uh, like expert of the social studies. Uh, Leon's, you know, introduced the model in 1950s, and his model, uh, you know, went very popular, uh, even you know, for most businesses. And this is one of the effective model. Uh, that the businesses, you know, uh, they are using it uh, for, you know, uh, organizational and structural change. Uh, while the organizations, they want to bring a change or they want to have, you know, like a plan change. Uh, so let's, let's like, you know, uh, discuss about that. What is the organizational or a structural change uh, and why this model is useful model for the businesses to adopt? Uh, generally, we can say that, you know, the organizational change is the process uh, in which you know an organization changes uh, its its structures. It means you know, it means you know restructuring the organization and also you know changing the strategies uh, either because of the internal or, ex or external factors. The organization have to adopt you know some new strategies and also operational methods. The way the operations are going in the organization, uh, so they want to adopt you know some new practices in order to improve their operational methods or either changing the culture of the organization uh, to, to effect, you know, change within the organization and effects of these changes on the organization. So this model is, that's why we say, a useful tool uh, for the organization to bring organizational and structure change. Uh, the model was designed, as we said earlier, by the Kurt Leon in 1950s, uh, and still, you know, it's a valid model. It means uh, the businesses can implement or can use this model uh, for bringing the organizational in a structure change in their businesses. 
uh, this is uh, you know the model which is you know uh, like like you know comprised of the three uh, stages the unfreeze the change uh, stage and also the freeze stage and uh, it is believed that this this uh, model uh, especially helps the organization uh, whenever they want to introduce a plan change uh, you might be concerned that what is a plan change a plan change is considered as a developmental change uh, which is implemented by the organizations uh, with the purpose of improving uh, their operations and performances so when the when the organization wants to improve you know their current performances in current operations uh, they are planning a change that's called a plan change in plan change a company wants to move from the present situation to a desired situation in the future it means presently organization is in a situation uh, that you know their performances or their operations uh, they're, they're, they they think that actually uh, it needs improvement so they're setting some goals and objectives uh, for themselves and they want to be uh, in future you know in a, in a situation where they can achieve th those goals and objectives uh, if we give like an example for it uh, an organization want to penetrate to a new market uh, because the purpose of the organization is that they want to uh, grow the business and they want to increase their market share so now for bringing you know a change uh, you know they need to change their strategies they need to improve their performances they need to improve their operations in order to penetrate successfully to a new market uh, if we go back and just you know talk about this model a little bit uh, we can say that you know this model is like a block of ice uh, block of ice means metonym ke misol is ba shakl hum batem ke agar mo yak konde ya khabi gire ya misol har har u u shakl ke meton dobara shakl giri shawa u ro mo bi girim an freeze mekene yani a shakl asli khud qisme ke shoma on screen mi bilin a shakl asli khud ro pas mekashim dobara metonim ke ro shakl batem wo pas ro freeze kenem e model baini na wa metona ke da idara anjam dada shawa idara baid yak dafa an freeze shawa change shawa wa dobara freeze shawa ba stabilization barem so what is you know the unfreeze this is the first stage of the process of change according to leon's math uh, mather involves uh, the preparation for change they stage idara me tana ki khuda prepare kana ba change uh, yani uh, in this stage you know the organization is identifying the problem uh, that you know where the problem exists Uh, whether the strategy is not okay, whether the performances is not doing well, whether the operational activities are not going well, whether the structure of the organization is not perfect, so they need to identify the problem uh, in the unfree stage, and uh, collect the data and analyze that data, and just you know uh, perfectly make a strategic plan, uh, analyze you know the internal and external environment of the business uh, in the unfree stage. This means that you know at this stage the organization must get prepared for the change. Idara baid ba taghir ala amada shawa tamame planning ki khuda baid dosta basa strategic determination baid dosta basa for the fact that change is crucial and needed. Wa idara ira realize kada ki taghir zaruriyas mohimas. This phase is important because most people around the world try to resist. Okay. The unfree stage zamani ke mamay khayam ke strategy change shawa ya 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 operational activities taghir me kana ya restructure me kene mai dara ra zarur tahawalat da dakhil e dara surat me gira shayad job rotation surat be gira promotion ya demotion surat me gira shayad hiring firing surat be gira so that's why e x stage me bosha ke danger resistance show me sha so it's important for the managers you know to lead in 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 guide you know this stage uh, in a very good way uh, and also effectively in order to uh, to reduce you know the resistance to change and also perfectly manage you know that uh, resistance to change uh, and also realize and understand the employees uh, and make them sure that the change they are bringing in moving the organization from the current stage uh, into a future situation is uh, bringing profit to the organization in general and also to the employees The second stage is the change stage, where change is taking a place, uh, where the implementation starts, uh, where the stage, you know, that you know, uh, the things are just going to be practicalized. Yani taghir day day mar hala surat mi gira, wa taghir amalan anjam dada mesha. Chalo kiya mo real transition stage mi gim ya moving stage mi bosha. 
कि मैं अस प्रेजेंट स्टेज क्या है फ्यूचर स्टेज या बा अस प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन बा फ्यूचर फ्यूचर सिचुएशन मूव मेकिंग हिम सो चेंज टेक्स प्लेस द प्रोसेस में टेक टाइम टू हैपन वो एक एक मरहले तुलनी में बोशा अचरा के दही प्लान तत्पिक में शा इंप्लीमेंटेशन स्टेज ऑफ़ द ऑफ़ द चेंज में बोशा सो डेवलपमेंट्स विल हैपन इन दिस स्टेज इवन यू नो लिटिल बिग रेजिस्टेंस विल बी शोन यू नो एट दिस स्टेज आल्सो सो दिस इज़ द स्टेज दैट गुड लीडर्स इन लीडर्स लीडरशिप एंड आल्सो रीअशोरेंस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस एस्पेक्ट्स नॉट ओनली लीड टू स्टेयर फॉरवर्ड वो दई वक्त कैसे लीडरशिप बिस्वर मुहिम सन वो मैनेजर्स बाई इस स्टेज अब इसवर खूब लीड करना वो द डायरेक्शन है दुरुस्त बाय तमाम प्रोसेस बरा वो हम चलो हेल्प करना इंडिविजुअल्स और एम्प्लॉज ताकि प्रोसेस बर जान आसान तर शवा कम्युनिकेशन दबाने शन के अस मुफीद वो मासार बहुत शा द लास्ट स्टेज इन इस द रिफ्रेश स्टेज वो इरा मोहम्म गुफ्ता में तेरे में की द स्टेबलाइजेशन स्टेज में बहुत शा नाउ यू नो चेंज हैपेंड चेंज वो क्रिशत एवरीबॉडी एक्सेप्टेड द चेंज एंड द चेंज वाज इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय द पीपल uh you know in the organization now the company or organizations begins to become stable again all i dara bait amrai new structure new strategies uh, amrai new uh, working uh, you know uh, operations or performance all i dara bait khala stabilize kana that's why this stage is referred to as rephrase uh, this is the time when the stuff in processes begin to rephrase and things st- start going back to their normal what the work as organization normally operations khala aagaz me kana Uh, this step requires the help of the people to make sure uh, changes are used all the time and implemented even after objective has been achieved